going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody had a great new year. I sold the Focus ST a few months ago. I have been searching for a new car. I really wanted to have something else, a new project to build on. And if you're watching this video, it means I bought one. So stay tuned. <laughs> All the ST has been gone. Instead of spending all my money on parts for the car, I've been just trying to get the garage set up. So as you can see behind me, I got a new big Husky toolbox. They had them on sale at Home Depot. So I went and picked up one of those. I also got a new grinder behind me. I got a new air compressor. Well, sorry, there's a air hose. I do plan on upgrading my little air compressor back there. So I'm gonna be getting a big one over here in the corner. I've also still been practicing a lot with the welder. If you saw my last few videos, it's pretty much been all welding. I've just been really excited. I really wanted to learn to weld and I've gotten fairly, fairly good with this MIG welder. I've got these little blocks over here that I put together, but a lot of these welds, I mean, they came out so, so good. Look at these. I mean, they're stacked perfectly on top of each other. Now the ones where I'm connecting the blocks, they don't look as great, but you can still see a bead profile in there. So I'm pretty proud of these. Um, you know, like everything's come out really, really good. I'm really happy with my welding progress. I'm gonna go jump in the truck. I'm gonna go pick up Pops first. He's gonna go with me to look at the car and then I will hopefully be able to show you guys when I get there. You ready to go check the car out? searching and searching and searching even just driving this thing home from purchasing it I completely understand why people love a six-speed transmission driving on the highway in fifth gear is I definitely miss that sixth gear in the ST there she is got her all snuggled into her new home just give you a little rundown since I didn't get to do it when I was actually checking out the car paint is extremely clean honestly this thing being a 2010 is even in better condition than my st was when i bought it and it was a 2015. it is extremely cold today and it was very rare that it snows in texas but it actually did snow for like a minute you can't see anymore right now but yeah it did crazy enough so like I said, it is very cold today, so I'm not going to stay out here and go over the car today. Um, tomorrow is supposed to be a lot nicer, a lot warmer, so I'm going to pull the wife's car out tomorrow, get this thing centered up, and then I will go over everything with the car and show you everything that I can find on it. What's going on, guys? It is the next day. I got the wife's car pulled in the driveway, and I got the Evo centered up. So I'm not going to go in full depth overview of this thing. I'm not going to get underneath the car just yet. I'm just going to go over what I've already found. Um, from when I was actually purchasing the car, things that I looked for um, and stuff like that. I really did want to dive deep into this thing today, but unfortunately our little 13 month old is not feeling very well. He's been sick and kind of throwing up all morning. So um, he is feeling much, much better now and Brittany's with him. So I wanted to come out here and kind of go over the car. Um, so I'm just going to go over the exterior, the interior, um, just kind of show you guys what I found, you know, while I was shopping for it, while I was, you know, looking at it before buying it. So for me, I don't know how anybody else is, but if you obviously recognize the Evo, one of the things that I always know about Evos is they come factory with the Brembos. It's one of the first things that I looked for, just made sure it had the Brembos on all four wheels. Front. Up your front. 
And back to the rear. While I was down here looking for the Brembos, I just went ahead and inspected all the wheels. I think all the Evo 10s came with the silver inkies. I don't know if they all, if any of them came with this color, but you can kind of see where it's chipping. So I'm assuming somebody tried to paint this at some point, but the wheels are all in good condition aside from just paint chipping and things like that. This rear one back here, the one thing I did notice is it's missing the center cap, but it's not a big deal. I do plan on getting some aftermarket wheels. The next big thing that I checked because of the problems that I had with my Focus ST and finding out later on that it was in a front end collision because I did not run a Carfax is I made sure all of the paint looked good on the front. I made sure all of my body lines looked like they lined up and everything did. I did question him on this and he did show me that the tabs back here broke off, which I already read that the Evo 10s, they're prone to do that. So I plan on putting these on here anyway. Aside from that, I just went along the whole body of the car and looked at all the little panel gaps and things like that. Just made sure there was no paint. I mean, there's no, I don't, I never, I could not find a single ding or anything on this car. The only flaw as far as paint goes, I found is the back on the bumper back here where this, I don't know if you can see that there you go. It is, there's a little bit, and I don't know what this is. I don't know how to, how to fix that. If anybody does, please, please comment. Um, but I did find that back here. The rest of the paint looks super, super good. There's a couple of small rock chips, like I said, you know, maybe like on the front bumper up there that I found. But aside from that, everything else, there's not a single ding, dent. I mean, this thing just, it looks so, so good. Going back to what I was saying about running the Carfax, please, please do that. If you're buying a used car, run the freaking Carfax. I'm telling you, I didn't do it on the ST and I should have, and I probably wouldn't have bought the ST. Um, but anyway, this, I ran the Carfax on this thing and I found out that this guy, the guy that I bought it from owned this car for the past nine years. He said he changed the oil every 3,000 miles, changed the diff fluids every 15,000 miles. Um, I know those things have, you know, pump issues and things like that, but he never drove this thing in the rain. He kept it garaged. I mean, this was his baby. Um, and, you know, that's the type of person that you really want to buy it from. Um, so running that Carfax definitely helped to actually prove that. He did do a lot of carbon fiber wrap accents. So this one is just a wrap. I don't know if I'll remove that or not. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of like wrapped carbon fiber. I like real carbon fiber, but not a big fan of the wrap. He did the roof too. I like black roofs. Not a big fan of the carbon fiber roof. And then this back here is real carbon fiber, which I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of that or not. I, I honestly, I'm not, I, when I see them driving on the road, I'm not a fan of the way that it looks, but you know, I think it's clean that the fact that it's so, so light, but you know, I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of the way that it looks. I may replace it with a stock white trunk, um, but I definitely want to get a wing for this thing. Comment down below. What do you prefer? Carbon fiber or do you like the stock like colored look or painted look? I'm pretty sure these are not the 2010 tail lights. For some reason, I think they came with like a red housing or something. I, I don't really remember. I'm not super familiar with all the lights and stuff like that. Which year came with which lights or whatever. Speaking of the lights though, the lenses are very, very clear. I mean, he definitely kept this thing garaged. Even the headlights. Come check these things out. And they are spotless. There's not a bit of buildup on there at all. That's pretty much it for the exterior. So I'm going to jump on to the inside and just kind of show you that. Driver's side is usually the dirtiest because that's where the person is most of the time. You don't usually have people in the back seat in the passenger seat as much as you do the driver's seat. So that's where I always check first. And this one is super clean on the door panel over here. If you look down here, the carpet is super, super clean. I mean, everything just, I mean, there's like, you know, dirt and stuff like that, but it's not worn through. It's not busted through. Seats look great. It actually looks dusty and stuff like that on here, which it actually is back there. But I mean, that's easily cleanable. It's, they're very, very, very clean. Perfect, perfect condition. Both of them. It does have the Rockford Fosgate system. It doesn't just have a little CD player up there. Like I said, he had a lot of these little carbon fiber wrap accents. I'm probably going to take all of those off. Anytime you see anybody put one of these things on their dashboard, you know they keep good care of their vehicle. Anybody that knows Evo 10 knows that the interior is pretty basic, so that's pretty much it. I mean, seats are in really good condition. All of the carpet is in ex excellent condition. The trunk. All right, so when I lift up the trunk on the underside of it, is this. Now I've never had a carbon fiber piece before so if somebody out there does, I know I'm getting a lot of people that tell me things but this is my first, you know, this is a new car so I'm curious about stuff. Keep me from having to look it up myself if somebody else already knows the answer. Um, but yeah, if anybody knows how carbon fiber pieces work, is this how it's supposed to look on the inside? Anyway, carpet is a little dirty back here. I may have to do some deep cleaning with this but aside from that everything looks really good. We can Try to pull this up right here. I don't know if this, how this comes. This is what he had back here on both sides. 
but it does have the spare. It has all the stuff underneath. I mean, yeah, so. Oh, if you're wondering, there is foam. He put a bunch of foam back here for uh, sound deadening. The last thing I looked at before I test drilled it was under the hood. Engine bay, again, in my opinion, very, very, very clean, especially for being a 12-year-old vehicle. He did admit to me later on that um, he did have an intercooler on here. He had upper and lower charge pipes. Um, he actually currently still does have larger injectors. I'm not sure how big they are um, and a bigger fuel pump. He, I think he ran one of the E85 kits um, is what he was telling me. So this thing actually is tuned for E85. He was showing me on the inside how to actually um, change over the fuel maps. Somebody may not care about having those things, but honestly, I plan on putting a lot of stuff on this and building this thing up myself anyway. So having those extras is pretty cool. The Evo 10 engine bay is brand new to me, so I'm not familiar with this thing. So if anybody sees anything that's out of place or anything that needs to be replaced, please, please, please comment below. Let me know so that I can get these things. I definitely want this thing looking really, really nice. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to go check on the little guy. This is everything pretty much that I went over the vehicle with before I bought it, or actually, you know, I test drove it and then I bought it. Um, seriously, though, this thing drives phenomenal. I mean, the transmission, everything shifts super, super smooth. Uh, I could not be happier with it, but... Um, please stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to, you know, pretty much try to dive into this thing, either really go over everything, you know, definitely jack the car up, go underneath, um, see what all, you know, is underneath there. I don't know if there's any other goodies. Um, and then I'll probably try to deep clean that interior and then maybe wash the outside too. We'll see. Um, but please stay tuned for that. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I will catch you guys next time.